What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. I'm out here in Bodega Bay. That's because rockfish season started. I'm so excited for that. And I thought, what a better opportunity than to have these guys out here from Pitbull Tackle to start the season off. We've got Will and Tristan. Uh, so I've been using Pitbull Tackle lures for years. Uh, and then once I started the channel, these guys introduced themselves and uh, yeah, finally get the opportunity to take these guys out fishing. Uh, idea for today is kind of do like an informative lure, how to rock fish. They're gonna tell their tips and tricks to us, how to use all their different lures here. Um, and you can use, you know, what they're teaching us for a variety of lures. Uh, so what do we have here? What do you guys call these? So first and foremost, you know, most guys are familiar with the swim bait. So we have our hot tail on our shad jig head. I think that's a two and a half or three ounce head there on our six inch bait. Um, we have the hard jigs, which we've been fishing more and more lately. And uh, we've kind of been refining and making a little bit better and better each each year. We have our deadfall jig, our dead eye jig, and then this is our most popular jig, the Bora jig. Um, most guys have seen this up and down the coast. It's super popular, catches fish literally from Alaska to Baja. So it's it's a pretty cool lure and we'll go into some details later on on, on uh, what makes it so special. Nice, so I brought the uh, my underwater camera. So we're gonna basically today just go through these different lures. We're all gonna put the same one on, catch some fish with it. Uh, we can see what it looks like, you know, when it's down on the bottom. Uh, they'll talk to you about, you know, what colors you wanna use, when, uh, the different depths, and uh, yeah, so we're excited to get started fishing here. You guys ready to catch some fish? Oh yeah, we are. Let's go. All right, we're gonna drop down. Will and Tristan wanted to get you guys some free swim baits, so all you gotta do is go to pitbulltackle.com, make any purchase on their website, and use the code crispy21 at checkout, and you'll get the two swim baits you see in the photo here, and the code's good for one month. So we're about to drop down now. We're in 160 feet of water. I heard you guys talking about six times glow. What does that mean? Yeah, so... Glow is such a huge thing when it comes to rock fishing, and it's super popular. On the market, I just feel like we never found one that was like that was good enough, and we never found one that was quite bright enough. I mean, it gets dark down there. Yeah. And fish target things that they can see. They're super visual predators. So we just basically had the idea of how can we make the craziest, brightest glow possible. And uh, so what we came up with was 6X Glow. It's dark, deep water, yeah. um, and it's really made a difference. Like guys are, that start fishing yeah. really like it. Um, so it's been a cool little addition to the jig. It's just something different, something special. So uh, what are we going to put on right now? Let's see. Do you want to try the board jig first? Honestly, this water looks a little brown. We were running out here, and the prop wash wasn't holding as much as I thought. You know, normally in that clear water, you can see it forever. And, uh, you know, we always, if it was salmon season, I'd say this would look like salmon water. It's a little brown, a little stained. So typically the big bright orange baits work a lot better. Um, so yeah, the Bora is kind of the go-to in conditions like this. So we'll, okay. we'll try some of that out and let's see what's going on. Hold so on. when you guys tie these on, you tie them stretch the line or you like to use a swivel? So we like to use a snap at the end of the line. So that's how I run my leaders though. So I'll run like a little bit of Bora or mono to a swivel. And what's the reason for that? Uh, I think the having a little bit mono fluoro helps with abrasion down there. Like you're banging around rocks and stuff like that, and they're sharp. The braid tends to when you get when you run over that a lot, the braid will get really really frayed up. Um, just a little bit of mono helps. No. All right, so I'm dropping down, glow in the dark. Uh, once I catch a fish, we'll put the camera on. So how come you guys are going with four ounce here, not six ounce? Like that's what I would just naturally gravitate to. We always try and fish the lightest weight we can get away with. The drift isn't too fast too, which is nice. We can get away with lighter. Uh -huh. um, we found too, especially with some of the flutter jigs, that the lighter weights tend to have a lot more action as they fall. You know, if you have an no, eight ounce jig, yeah. it's, it sinks like a rock straight to the bottom. And now, you know, you need that when you're out there fishing the Farallons or deeper water, but um, when you can get away with it out here, the light stuff is better it's pretty, action yeah, from it's it. Yeah, a little bit Makes better sense. action. So you're giving a few little yanks there, huh? Yeah, I like to, with the Bora jig, you have that hoochie on the bottom. So as you kind of pop and move that, mm. the, the weight itself, that will move and then the, the hoochie just kind of follows it. So whatever the weight does, the hoochie will kind of flutter behind it. And, and give it action. So we're trying to like imitate an octopus right now? Is that the idea or? Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes 
sometimes I don't even know what what you're even taking. Yeah, is, but yeah. Okay. This this jig really is kind of a, a true octopus squid kind of jig. First fish of the day. Maybe. Nope. Oh. Maybe. Wow. Oh, it's on. Little baby brown. There's more fish on the ground too. So that guy's gonna would die if we threw him back, right? Yeah, well, unless you use the descender. So yeah. the descender will pull him down, and his air bladder will compress again. And the thought process is, you send him back down, he'll be okay. Otherwise, it's not a bad topic. So. Yeah, we'll just keep him. Small. <laughs> well, he got both hooks in him. <laughs> he should live and swim back down. And he doesn't. He might. Sometimes you gotta yeah, there he goes. All right, well, I've already caught two on the Bora Bora jig, glow in the dark. So, gonna put underwater there camera on. Nice. Tristan's on. Bora Bora, it's working well. Beautiful fish. Yeah. All right, here we go. Underwater footage is always my favorite to watch when I get home. Oh no. On this day, the water was just way too dark down there. I mean, it makes sense. The visibility didn't seem very good up top. Unfortunately, no underwater footage for us to see on this day. Um, definitely keep tuned for the next video I do on rock fishing. I'm going to try and get some good visibility and, and bring these lures back out uh, so we can make sure and see them underneath water. So let's watch Will and Tristan and how they work their rods with these rockfish lures. And you'll see pretty much all day long just these small little motions. You know, with rock fishing, we're accustomed to seeing people make these big up and down motions. Not these guys. So I'm going to take these tips and I'm going to try that more when I'm rock fishing now and, and see how that works for me. Uh huh. But like, see how this yellow connects? I mean, it's a little squatty right here. Yeah. It connects. There's a the black and yellow is like identical, but it'll break. There's like a big like open spot. Oh, oh nice. Oh. What's next, guys? We're gonna try some swim baits. Swim baits. Uh, you know, it's, the drift isn't too fast, and we can kind of cast them around. It seems like there's kind of smaller grade fish out here, so maybe the five inch swim baits and brighter colors with this murky water. Let's see what happens. Nice. It's fun fishing with you guys. You have an arsenal of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we have, this is the six inch bait um, here, and that's our motor oil, and then there's a five inch right next to it. I didn't bring any of the eights. That's actually one of our more popular ones. Yeah, I usually use this one in a size bigger. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. And um, the five inch size just really tends to work for rockfish really well. Um, six inch and eight inch are a great link hog bait, so. This is my personal favorite is, is motor oil. Well, what should I use? I have some more in here. Let's try it. How about that old red one you made? Is that a good one? Uh, that old, yeah, uh, yeah. Good. That'll work. Well, I use this one. Check out the color on that. So how are you working your lure? You cast it straight out? I cast uh, it up, up way out in front of yeah. us. So you're not necessarily up and down, up and down. You're yeah. more trying to get it swimming along the bottom. Yeah, you know, in some cases way out deep, vertical jig swim baits is good. You can always vertical jig the smaller ones. Um, but I feel like with the six inch baits or five inch baits, like, I don't know. We tend to get a bit more kind of pulling along the bottom. It creates more of a reaction. It's in that strike zone longer. Right. Okay. So we'll go up north, put the boat in 40 foot, and then you can make a cast just like your bass fishing. Yeah. And it's just... When you can get the swim bait to swim horizontally the whole time, like it's a way more natural like retrieve and you cover a whole lot more water. Yeah. There's one. That's a cool one. What the heck? 
So what Tristan's saying here, guys, is if we were using little drop eye jigs right now, we'd just be nailing the fish. Yeah, you know, oh, we're man. getting bit, and yeah. you can see the teeth marks right behind the hook. So it's just one of those days the fish aren't that big. There's fish down there. They just sometimes have a hard time getting the hook. Um, but yeah, if we go and make this same drift with with one of the hard jigs, the lead jigs, like a dead eye or deadfall, or probably even the bora again. Um, that's because it's smaller yeah they can just they can they can eat a lot more of the bait the hooks are smaller um and you can well chances are we're probably going to hook a lot more um of the bites that we get so why are we using swim baits to get bigger fish link cod Try, stuff like that yeah just see you know sometimes the bigger baits just tend to trigger a little bit better bites from fish and it's definitely swim bait is like one of the best go-to link cod baits so right. try and put a couple link cod in the boat and try with these uh Swim baits and see if we can make something happen. Well, you guys think I got bit? <laughs> the so. Man, look at that. Yeah, it's just the getting, whole tail. They're it's hitting just... it, and you can see all the teeth marks on there, oh, too. Yeah. Like, they're biting these things, but just the greater rockfish isn't quite there. Well, I lost my tail, so when that happens, get rid of the bait and get a new one, right? Yep, yep. So yeah, that's a good looking fish. I keep them. I wouldn't mind coming home about five or so. Yeah. Okay. A little dance down there. Okay. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> that's a weak hook. Yeah. Oh. Little bird. Uh. Here we go. That's what we like to see. Yeah, nice Red fish. bait catch red fish. So what's the rule now? Five verm or something? Five, yeah, five vermilion. Oh, oh, that the black, bite. The black limit is uh, no longer in effect. Right. Man, I'm ready to get out. Literally the edge right here. That's my phone floating in air right now. It slipped out of my hands. Hopefully I can catch it before it hits the water. Whoa. Oh, what a catch. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> just like heart stopped for a second in slow motion. Wow. Right in the, I don't know what you did to that thing. Gave it a nice Yeah, a nose ring, yeah. <laughs> It's funny to put bloopers in, but then some guy always goes like, you're such an idiot. So I'm like, I've gotten some funny comments. <laughs> Look at this kelp green lean Tristan caught on the swim bait. It was so beautiful, he decided to let it go. So this is the dead eye jig. Uh, I guess there's three variations we're using. Put a hoochie. It's the same hoochie that comes rigged on the, uh, on the Bora jig. We also rig them with these little assist hooks as well. So there's, few different ways to rig them. The treble hook day in day out is is the, probably the best bet. Um, we're actually, it's a little sneak peek at some new products. We're actually gonna have these hoochie packs that'll come in a two pack of this size and then a bigger five inch that it's just the hoochie with the solid ring. So you can add these to whatever jig you're fishing. A little more up and down with this one because the swim bait we were trying to glide more. Yeah, so what's cool about these with it's, it's almost like, we call it a flutter jig, right? So as these jigs fall, they tend to shimmy on the way down. So it looks like a dying anchovy. It, it's relatively straight up and down as it goes. Um, we like to just kind of pop them off the bottom, kind of actually pretty pretty quick. It'll shoot up off, it'll kind of swim up, and then it'll flutter back down. Most times those fish pick them up as they're fluttering. Like always keep it moving, let, let the fish find it, and at some point they kind of trigger and they, they react to it. So these work better when there's a faster current then too, right? Because it slows yes. down quicker? Yes, exactly, yeah. So if you're moving too fast in your boat, you know, you need to put heavier weights on, or you know, heavier lures on, but then try these because it dives down quicker. Exactly. So we got uh, Tony the Tiger, they called it. I like it. That looks really good. Good job, guys. Yeah, there's another. <laughs> it's funny, it feels decent size, but that's because I have the camera on it. Oh! oh First thing of the day! It looks like a snake, it's so skinny and small. <laughs>
Oh no, the camera's dead. No. <laughs> So we're getting the slack tide right now. What do you guys think for rock fishing? You have a preference in what, what the tide's doing? I think moving water is is best. Um, the slack tide, slack tide tends to, you know, everything kind of slacks out and the current slacks out. And the fish chill out, like they're feeding on stuff as it washes by them and, and, and as the water's drifting things past them. And if they're sitting in one spot, there's no slack, you know, if there's a slack tide, they're not moving. Um, I feel like we tend to see that the bite shuts off a little bit more and then as the tide starts to, to move water again, um, it tends to be a little bit more productive. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's a, a fish. Yeah. No! no, no. How does it get off? I no, know. that was the wing. Oh. All right, so we're changing, changing the lures up now. Uh, dead drop, fall. dead fall. So uh, they're explaining this one has like the conkers on it. Oh, what would you call that? It's like a keel, like a boat keel. keel. So it kind of shoots through the water a lot more. So gliding. this one glides out more because of that, where the uh, dead eye is more of a drop. It does kick out, but not as much as this one. So when, when would you use one or the versus the other? Uh, like a real slow drift. You want to use so this. this is good for a slow yeah, drift. It covers it kicks more out. Yeah. Okay. And that dead eye kind of flutters in place. So on a fast moving drift, you're straight up and down. Oh, here we go. I'm not joking when a whale came out of 20 feet from my boat. 17 foot one. Oh, wow. There it is. The tail. <laughs> there we go. Fish on camera. What a day out here. We really got on the rockfish, caught so many of them. I really appreciate you guys teaching me what you guys know and hopefully you guys learned something at home watching this video. Um, great lures, caught a lot of fish. What do you guys have to add? Yeah, we just, you know, we didn't find any big link cod, only one little tiny short link cod I there. Know. Maybe on camera, maybe not, but uh, we did catch a lot of rockfish. The dead ice did well, dead falls did well. So, you know, if we're not using a whole lot of bait, nothing out here, just some scent and hard jigs, I feel like we, yeah, did really well. Here's all the fish. Nice variety, a lot of color. Um, but I would say we let go at least 15 fish too, huh? Yeah, at least, at least. So yeah, yeah you know, we could we put together a decent day by the end of it. So we did. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.